All right, guys, you know what? I think I'm having a hard time with my microphone and my setup here, so start over again. Uh, again, welcome to Stylish Grease Monkey. Uh, I'm out here right now on a jetty close to my house and uh, just relaxing, watching guys fish and uh, chilling out. Got my Jeep back there. Yeah, hopefully my audio works. Got a cigar on. Beautiful, beautiful. So, I don't know what's up with my setup today, but my card was acting up. This is what happens when you have an expensive camera. Doesn't take any kind of card. And then of course my mic is all off because I wanted to make sure that I'm using a uh, quality audio for you. So, anyway, got this thing paired up with a cafe latte. So last week we talked about music that makes me, music that made me or makes still makes me feel good. Music from the 80s that makes me feel good whenever I hear it, it brings back some memories. So this week we're going to talk about movies in the 1980s that makes me feel good every time I see it over and over again and brings back memories. Now not all movies in the 1980s I saw in the 1980s even though most of my childhood and uh, teens were in the 1980s. But there were definitely some movies that brought back some memories, you know, hanging out with friends, watching it on VHS. I remember um, going to friends' houses because they have access to special VHS recordings and things like that. So hey, if you don't know what a VHS is, if you're one of those newer guys, millennials, younger, whatever have you, Google it, and you'll be surprised what things we, we've done back then. The last couple of days been raining, but right now it's been, it's nice, and uh, tomorrow the weather is supposed to be nice as well, so hopefully I get to ride my motorcycle. I, I bought a new GoPro as well, GoPro 7, even though that's not the newest one. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned to you my Jeep's back there. I took the top off because it's beautiful today. So just driving around, enjoying it. GoPro Hero 7. Anyways, I'm making another video out of that. A little bit different than what I, I'm making now. Uh, just a review of the uh, GoPros. I still have a GoPro 3 Plus, surprisingly. It creates really nice videos for my like fishing and things like that. The only thing I don't like about it is the battery don't last but 30 minutes. And then of course I have a GoPro Session 5, which is an amazing piece of equipment. Anyway, just chilling. Like I said, loving it over here. The um, the sun is bright, so I'm trying not to overexpose my camera here. It's on manual mode. Um, and even that I'm still learning. So I have a EOS Rebel T7i as a camera and a 24mm 1.2 um, lens, which is very nice. Makes me nice and pretty, you know what I mean? So. Not a bad cigar, guys. This is a uh, just you know maybe a daily cigar that you can smoke. I don't know if I already mentioned it, but I was able to order some cigars online, and I can't wait for it to get here so I can smoke it for you and explain how it tastes. Anyways, coffee, coffee and cigars, always the best. I don't know if that guy's catching anything or is just being dangerous. So anyway, so what are movies in the 1980s that I won't mind watching over and over again? Let me just start by my favorite movie in which I really did probably see until the 1990s.
Okay guys, the first movie, the first movie that really kind of stuck to me, uh, I didn't really see it until the 1990s when I joined the Navy, is Top Gun. You know, Tom Cruise, Top Gun. So anyways, Top Gun back in the 1990s, like my first deployment to the Mediterranean, we saw that movie like freaking countless times. And and I pretty much probably memorized the whole movie and the song and you know just the words and things like that from the movie uh, and it really gave you a sense of pride especially if you're in the Navy this is during the uh, Top Gun days you know F-14 Top Gun and uh, I came in as an aviation in the military, but I worked on the A6 Intruder aircraft. And uh, I wish I worked on the F-14. I don't know how I ended up in the A6, but I saw the F-14s on the flight deck, and they're a beast. So that movie really gave us the name United States Navy, Top Gun, Tom Cruise, baby, when he was in his 20s. I heard there's a new Top Gun coming out was supposed to be released this summer but it got moved to uh, another date and I'm looking forward to seeing it but of course nothing can replace the original Top Gun you know what I mean really gotta take your time with my audio setup here and I better check it when I get home make sure that thing work because it's just getting on my nerves now anyway so Top Gun probably if somebody asks me what's the best movie that's ever made, I am a little bit biased about that movie because for me, it is the best movie ever made. It just made me feel good, you know what I mean? Every time I, you know, smell fuel from the aircraft, it just brings me back to the flight deck when I was young, you know, just running around, working on my plane and uh, being part of the hustle and bustle of the flight deck. Such a great experience and relatable movie. So the next one, you know, I like uh, movies. Uh, I like uh, zombie movies right now. Uh, I've always liked zombie movies. And my, my wife thinks I'm nuts because sometimes I uh, watch zombie movies and I always tell her that I'm just going to watch it during the day because I'm scared to watch it at night and uh, get some... Uh, you know, at my age, get get some uh, get a nightmare or something like that. So, at first, uh, before I go, uh, keep on going here. I apologize for the banging sound. Somebody, uh, you know, just about a kilometer away there. There's a construction going on, and they're banging all over the place. And of course, I'm outside, so there's also the wind. And uh, hopefully, you can hear me and have great audio. So, uh, so. Speaking of zombie movies, the very first scary movie that I saw that's close to that is uh, uh, back in the 1990s is The Evil Dead. I don't know if you remember that movie, you know, but The Evil Dead really just kind of set the tone for me on scary movies. And that was funny. You know, the first time I saw Evil Dead, I, pro I couldn't sleep by myself for, for weeks because it just kept on coming back to my dreams and scaring the hell out of me so uh, but even to this day you know the Walking Dead uh, TV series and uh, you know movies like that uh, World War Z uh, the um, Train to Busan I love those movies very well made very realistic there's also a Netflix series there called The Kingdom it's made in South Korea and it's very cool because it goes over their history as well so I love, I love those movies. But back to the movies in the 1980s. So I made a little list here, guys, and I'm just going to read it to you because uh, uh, in hopes that you also remember. If you do remember and it brings back some of the memories for you, uh, please comment down below. You know, engage with me. Let me know you like these videos and that uh, you like watching them. So remember Aliens? That was another scary movie that... Uh, you know, uh, watching it, I would put my feet up on top of the sofa because I was afraid that the aliens would come from underneath the chair or something underneath my bed. Full Metal Jacket. Probably 
one of the first realistic movies, for me anyways, uh, that goes over lives of people and the stress of being in boot camp and going to war. Um, what a great movie. It still is. Of course, who can forget The Karate Kid and Ghostbusters? Man, those were great movies that we watched over and over again, especially The Karate Kid, you know. As a kid, I was all about karate, I was all about Bruce Lee movies and things like that. So The Karate Kid was awesome because it's all about revenge, you know, all about some normal kid like myself that's able to fend off some pretty advanced or some cocky kid, some bully, and kick his ass in, at the end. So I love it. Hey, for laughs, National Lampoon's Vacation. Man... <laughs> When I was a kid, watching that was like taboo, right? I mean, back then, you couldn't watch anything that uh, had sexual innuendos in it. Uh, but, you know, I'm experimenting, and uh, National Lampoon's Vacation, awesome movie. Coming to America, another funny movie. I love that movie. You know, when he was singing in, in New York in the streets because he was so happy to be in America, and somebody told him to shut the hell up. Well, that's not exactly the word, but, you know... It was funny as hell. It just still is funny every time I watch it. So other movies like E.T., another great movie when I was a kid, Footloose and Beetlejuice, of course. Uh, you know, Beetlejuice, I, uh, I dug up the Beetlejuice and showed it to my kids. And mind you, this is in the 2000s, and my kids loved Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, don't say it three times, guys. Or else. <laughs> this has been a great day. You know, I'm relaxing, and I hope you enjoy this video as well, and uh, you feel relaxed like I, I am, because I just feel relaxed being out here. Aside from my issues with my dang camera and my audio, I think it came out pretty well. So, uh, I have other movies as well. That I'm gonna talk about uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I uh, I love that movie. Uh, and the the thing I remember about the movie was that when he stole the the dad's car, uh, I think it was his father's car. You know, some nice car, and man, it barely made it back to uh, made it back in one piece. I don't think he ever made it back in one piece, but I think it was a, a Ferrari or something like that, right? Very nice. Red Rum, Red Rum, The Shining, very scary movie. When I was a little kid, man, I would have nightmares about that dang movie. As I got older, I think, like I said, this is when I finally joined the Navy and I was by myself. I got into watching Back to the Future. I heard Back to the Future is coming back. Uh, but I don't know about that, you know, Michael J. Fox is not in good shape now. Uh, but man, that relates so much to, even though I didn't grow up in the era, uh, most of the era, but it's just so amazing, uh, the writers of thinking about the past and the future and mending it together, you know, and, uh, and back to the future, you know, just what an amazing sh movie. Back in the 1980s, they, they, uh, the writers are, have this fresh mind, you know, just, Amazing minds. Who can forget about Star Wars Episode Five? You know, Star Wars, amazing. You know, sorry guys, I'm distracted because that dude caught small fish again. So I think he's keeping it. You know, maybe something to fry and later on. It's just small. So. Anyways, The Empire Strikes Back, Star Wars Episode Five. Great cinematography. You know, if I was to be a movie maker, I would definitely go in the side of making movies like that. I mean, I recognize how much effort, you know, how much effort it is to make movies like that. It's amazing. Anyway, I think my cigar died. But let me just light a little bit on the end of this. Uh, and uh, while I'm lighting it, I'm just going to tell you the last thing on my list here. 
uh, again though if I missed something just like uh, you know my other video please comment down below what movies that you saw back in the 1980s that still makes you feel good to this day so the last one is the breakfast club The Breakfast Club. I think any teenagers have a rebellion in them, and the Breakfast the Breakfast Club kind of, you know, gave that to you. Emilio Estevez. I mean, all of these great actors, young ones, that made that movie. I mean, not the greatest setup, but it's just the story the words, the attitude, the character. You know, I relate to the, I related to that when I was growing up. And of course, still relate to it every time I see it because I'm still a rebel somewhat. So, The Breakfast Club, great soundtrack as well. Guys, I watched a lot of Bruce Lee movies, Enter the Dragon, all of those, and emulated Bruce Lee when I was growing up, I actually wrote a little book of myself, of all of his moves, draw it up and everything like that. So I'm, I'm definitely a fan of Bruce Lee and his philosophy and things like that. So some of those I apply in my life today. Rambo movies, who can forget about Sylvester Stallone, right? Rambo movies, just like the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's Terminator, greatest act, uh, action star of the 1980s and the 1990s amazing movies Rambo love it man I mean it's just you know getting picked on and coming out of uh, to fight coming out of the hole killing everybody getting shot at a thousand a million times and not even get hit once you know what I mean just it's impossible now, obviously, when I'm older and uh, I'm in the military, but uh, you know, but when you're growing up and watching movies like that, it's just like you're in awe because it's just amazing, you know, physically fit, things like that. Since I liked uh, action movies and martial arts, I also watched Jean-Claude Van Damme and uh, Chuck Norris, believe it or not. Um, but Chuck Norris wasn't the same to me after he lost the battle with Bruce Lee. Uh, even though he is probably a great fighter, uh, Bruce Lee's style, I think, is just something different. You know, now that uh, MMA is out and, you know, and uh, popular, well, years ago, I used to religiously watch MMA. I see where Bruce Lee is coming from. You know, you have to be fluid like the water. <laughs> You know what I mean? You have to be able to adjust to the fight at any moment in time. That's MMA, all right? Mixed martial arts. I like boxing too, but I like uh, Bruce Lee's fighting style better and MMA better. Anyway, guys, I'm in my last stub of my cigar here. I've enjoyed talking to you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, hey, don't forget to check out my channel subscribe like this video share it i'm trying to grow it i'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers and you know by 20 by the end of 2020 i think that's not impossible so please don't forget to comment down below let me know if you're liking videos like this or whatever video you want want me uh, to make talk about things like that i'm also learning getting better at my videos you know buying better equipment so that when i transition from here to my civilian life from the military to my civilian life then I'll continue to make good videos for you. Have a good one. Stay healthy. I'll talk to you later. Ow! <laughs> Too close!